Ready to put your app on the map? With our new Places SDK, it's easier than ever to find your place in the world. Earlier this year, we launched a new version of our Places API, bringing features such as more place types and attributes, helping your users more easily find the places they are looking for. To find out more about the features of the new Places API, check out the launch video linked below. When these new APIs were launched, they were only available using a direct call. This meant that when implementing in your application, you would have to perform a server call yourself. Now we have exciting news. SDK support has been launched for the new Places API. By providing SDK support for Places API, we are helping to simplify your app development, allowing you to focus on the core functionality of your application without needing to understand the complexities of the underlying APIs. Ultimately, you can get your app into the hands of your users faster. Now, I'm going to show you how to use the new Place class in your web application. Before continuing, ensure that Places API New is enabled on your Google Cloud project. To load the Places library, first load the Maps JavaScript API by adding the inline bootstrap loader to your application code, as shown in the following snippet. Remember to add your API key at this point. Next, use the await operator to call import library from within an async function. This is used to import the Places library into your application. With the Places SDK imported in your application, you can use it to either search for places or get details about a place. To search for a place, use either text search or nearby search. These can be accessed by calling the relevant method on the place class and passing through a request containing the search parameters. To get details of a place, create a new place object using a place ID in the constructor, then call fetch fields, passing through the required fields to return. This can be used to retrieve details such as a place location and its attached photos and reviews. In this example, we are requesting the name, location, and address of a place using the place ID as a constructor when creating the place object. The place object created can then be queried for the data returned by the API. For example, if we wanted to get the name of a place, we would use place.displayName. As the Maps JavaScript API you loaded already has native functionality to display a map on the page, it is easy to visualize the places on a map and provide their details either nearby or within info windows. For pre-built UI elements to show places on your website, be sure to take a look at our open source extended component library on GitHub. Follow the link below to check it out. Now you know how to use places new in your application. Check out the link in the description below to see the documentation and we can't wait to see what you build.